real guess and ideal guess the first point you should note it down in this lecture is that all guesses in the universe are real now you should quickly learn two important questions firstly what are some examples of real guesses well the examples of real guesses are oxygen gas hydrogen gas carbon dioxide gas helium gas etc secondly what are some examples of ideal gases well no ideal gas exist in our daily life but some gases behave like ideal gases under certain conditions for example under certain conditions oxygen gas nitrogen gas hydrogen gas and helium gas behave like ideal gases for instance chimpanzee is not a human being but any chimpanzee can behave like human beings similarly no real gas is ideal gas but some real gases behave like ideal gases thus we have learned two important concepts in this slide firstly all gases in the universe are real gases which we use in our daily life secondly some real gases can also behave like ideal gases under certain conditions hence noted down all these important points now what is ideal gas well consider hydrogen gas we know that it is a real gas now i am interested that hydrogen gas should behave like ideal gas so i have to change certain conditions for it for instance we know that gaseous behavior is affected by the pressure and temperature for example at low pressure molecules of hydrogen gas are far away from each other while at high pressure molecules of hydrogen gas are near to each other in contrast at low temperature molecules are nearer to each other while at high temperature molecules are far away from each other now listen carefully i keep the hydrogen gas at low pressure and the molecules are far away from each other secondly i provide very high temperature to it as a result of this the molecules would further move away from each other so we can see that molecules are at maximum distance from each other thus we say that at low pressure and high temperature hydrogen gas behave like ideal gas let me repeat it at low pressure and high temperature hydrogen gas behave like ideal gas therefore remember that this hydrogen gas is a real gas which we use in our daily life while this hydrogen gas at low pressure and high temperature is behaving like an ideal gas thus we learn that at low pressure and high temperature some real gases like hydrogen gas can behave like ideal gas so this is the whole concept of ideal gas now what is the difference between ideal gas and real gas well in ideal gas no intermolecular forces of attraction exist between molecules while in real gas intermolecular forces of attraction exist between molecules secondly in ideal gas the volume of gas is negligible it means that the gas is not taking up any space while in real gas the gas molecules take up some volume in the container thirdly in ideal gas the collision between gas molecules is perfectly elastic collision it means that when gas molecules collide with each other no energy is lost while in real gas the collision between the gas molecules is non elastic it means that when gas molecules collide with each other they lose energy fourthly in ideal gas the gas molecules follow the ideal gas equation pv is equal to nrt while in real gas the gas molecules do not follow the ideal gas equation pv is equal to nrt thus these are the main differences between the real gas and ideal gas finally let me teach you three exam questions does ideal gas exist in real life the answer is no 
No ideal gas exists in our daily life. But many gases like hydrogen gas behave like ideal gas under certain conditions. Secondly, why we study ideal gas? The answer is simple. This concept is very useful because using this concept, we can easily learn and understand the behavior of any gas. Secondly, using this concept, we can easily calculate the property of any gas. Finally, my favorite question is, can real gas follow ideal gas equation PV is equal to nRT? Well, the answer is no and yes. The answer is no because real gas do not follow ideal gas equation PV is equal to nRT at all pressure and temperature. Only ideal gas follow this equation at all pressure and temperature. Secondly, the answer is yes. At low pressure and high temperature, real gases also follow ideal gas equation PV is equal to nRT. Thus remember that real gases do not follow ideal gas equation except at low pressure and high temperature. I hope that you have learned all about the real gas and ideal gas.